Let's welcome to the last team from Singapore. <laughs> The way you walk like wrestling, eh? My test. Testing. Okay, Sunshine. Good afternoon, our senior VP, Mr. Michael Ng, the host plan VP, Mr. Raj, honorable judges, and all my fellow seminar colleagues in SAP. My name is Moss Wong. I'm Julie Wu. And we are from I'm I'm Singapore. Singapore. Today, we are going to present an automated Kaizen to you, the improvement of the shelf life extend request process. In short, we call it SLER. As you know that shelf life extend request is mainly regard to the old dead code component, and there's a possibility that the terminal is oxidized. If we want to use them, we need to extend its shelf life by performing the suitability test before release to the production. However, all these process are manual and lengthy. Julie, what do you think about our SLR process? Yes, most, to tell you the truth, when I was handling the SLR process, I almost fainted. Oh. There are so many manual entrants, yes. such as copy, yes. paste, yes. filling up the form. Yep. I told mm. myself, found to have many checks and human errors. Yep. This matter must be changed. Agree? If not, we will not be able to form the full key to run the production. What will happen next? Lie down, yep. shipment delay, customer unhappy, no revenue. And how about our bonus? Swahilang. <laughs> no more. <laughs> Look at our problem statement. We took about 314 minutes, which is about five hours, to extend the shelf life for one part number in 2021. Our aim is remove all the non-value added process and reduce the timing by 50%, which is about 157 minutes. We targeted to achieve US dollar 50,000 saving. Our team name is called Rejuvenator. Julie, do you know why we use this as our team name? Are you going to rejuvenate those old deco parts and give them a new life? Exactly, Julie. Our team name, our team members are from various functions. Julie is from QMS.Control and NG is from Planning Department. Their role is to handle the data analysis, data collection and analysis. Murari is from IQA. He will be in charge of the procedure and the training plan update. And lastly, Alvin and myself will be responsible on the implementation and control. This is our Kaizen timeline. We started it on February this year. We have completed it in June period. There was some delay in between because we need to expand our scope. Therefore, we need more time to verify the improvement activity. My real face. We collect the SLE average processing time data from September 2021 to March 2022 for baseline data trending. Our baseline is 314 minutes per one part number going through the SIER process. This is our process flow. You look at all those blue circles. We total have a 14 steps. Use average of 314 minutes to complete one SIER process. We are so frustrated as a lot of them are manual. In our analyze phase, we analyze every single step so that to identify where are the opportunity. Through this secondary metrics, 
we have identified three potential steps we can improve. And these steps are step 7, step 11, and step 12. We use 5Y analysis tool, we start to question ourselves. Why lab is waiting? Why requester takes so long to fill up the form? And of course, why manual? True. We, we also did a deep dive into our Agile system. Why there are so many DCO reroutes? Why one DCO can, can only process one SRER? Why taking so long time to release the DCO? Such a lengthy process. Yeah. Finally, we identify all the potential root causes. In summary, we want to make it automated, reduce the process step, improve the efficiency. So after discussion, we decided to go with Google Strip program. Mm. Using Google Strip, we create a program which will automate the auto repeated step, reduce overall processing time, eliminate non-value added activity as well as human error. All the action has been completed within timeline. Action number 1A, simplify the SRER form to address the root cause number one. Before, we have so many information need to be filled. To our surprises, some of them are actually not applicable to SRER process, such as RT number, quantity, etc. And some of CFT members are actually executors, not approvers. After, we simplify the form by removing all those non-applicable fields. Action 1B, address the root cause 1, 2, and 3. Before, let need to send back the SLR form to the requester and wait for them to fill up. After that, manual merge the customer blanket approval finally set to, sent to the dot control. The requester also need to manually email to the respective CFT member. After, lab apply the formula to complete the rest of the section in SLR. And with the Google strip, SLR can be sent to .com directly and auto email to the respective CFT member based on the project prefix. Action two, to address the root cause number two. Before, requester need to a total 64 step of copy action as well as the paste action. There are a lot of copy and paste action moving on. You can see, copy, requester, then I need to paste. So slow and do it one by one and still have 30 times of the copy and paste to be done. After using the Google Strip, you can see only two steps, which is select the part number and follow by one simple click. See? The form being autofill. Fnito. Excellent. Action number three. Optimize the agile route to address the root cause number three. Before, we have five CCB1 members, multiple DCO reroutes due to the errors. Single DCO can only process one SRER. After two CCB1 members, we eliminate the errors prior to the CCB route. One DCO can process multiple SRERs. In summary, what did we improve? We have reduced the process step from 14 to 11. And the processing time reduced from 314 to 135 minutes. Julie, look at this primary matrix. Do you spot any different? Yes, a lot different. In order to confirm if the improvement is effective, we perform two sample tests to verify. Prior to the test, we ensure the data are normal with mm. equal variance. You see, the p-value we get for two sample t is zero. It proves that the improvement is significant. We have managed to achieve 57% reduction of SRER processing time which exceed our set target of 50%. In the control phase, we have released all the relevant procedure and the forms to reflect the changes made. We also ensure all the relevant staff has been trained to understand the new process flow and implement the changes accordingly. For the system level control, this Google Strip 
also a poker yoki. Why? It basically replaced all the manual process with automated process. And this also no room for the human error which resulted from the manual process. For the employing training plan, we ensure all the slot procedures has been incorporated into the relevant department training metrics. This will help us to sustain the training needs if there is any update in future. Look at this process monitoring chart. We have reduced the SLER processing time significantly and consistently. Our Kaizen have been validated by our black belt, Mr. Vincent Pang, and master black belt, Mr. Mani. The total saving is US dollar 69,000. For other project value, we have duplicated a demo version for Chennai Plan to test out. This Kaizen has run one our internal customer satisfaction due to tremendously reduce the SRER processing time and eliminate all the non-value added activities. Look at all those happy faces. This marks the end of our presentation. Thank you. Terima kasih. All right, thank you. Open to the judges. Okay, thank you for the passionate <laughs> <laughs> presentation. Um, I just wonder because this is, uh, is there any pokayoke or foolproof system that uh, to analyze whether is there any error when you transfer the, the data? data? Yeah. Uh, we, we actually, we, we didn't do the UIT test, yeah, but, but by testing out, because Google Strip is basically is, is a fix. Whenever you copy from the database and to fill, to perform all the tasks, you see, from which row and which column, is all fixed. You see, if, of course, if you say the original data is wrong, then rubbish in is rubbish out. Yeah, this, this Google Strip is just to, is a methodology. If your original database is correct, so I can help you to fill out. They mean to minimize the human error. If let's say that is, that error is from original, Oracle, then uh, the scope is not covered for this project. Yeah. Right, uh, you've done a test on the improvement that you do. You see, you show the, I think I believe there's some analysis in Minitab that you've done. Yeah. Okay. Minitab, yeah. So may I know you, the test is against what? Improve what? We compare the before data and the after data because we collect the seven months of uh, power data for the before things. Then the after that, yeah, the timing we for average second time by mis uh, monthly basis. So we compare the before seven months data with the after three months data after the improvement made. So so that the two sample t tests can show us uh, the improvement is significant. Yeah. Thank you. Good presentation, guys. Good project. Thank you. <laughs> you clearly showed the, the, an improvement in the processing time for the soldering tests to mm. extend the aging. Yeah. I was thinking there's potentially two or a Lean Six Sigma project that you could extend upon this, looking at what's the cause of, if you look at the trend of how many tests we have to do per year, has that increased over time? What's the cause? Why do we have so many components that are aging? Yeah. And then from a second point of view, when we do the tests, how many of them fail? Mm. I think quite often few actually fail the soldability tests, mm -hmm. so they extended it on. So okay. you could, if you did that analysis, you could extend the amount of time you could actually have the aging for it with customer approval. Yeah. The, the aging actually, like, I think nowadays we, we know that all the global chain supply, we are shortage of material. That's why we have, we are struggling for the material. We have to buy a lot of the old day code. That's why we need this process to verify the, the terminal, whether is it oxidized before we send it for the release to the production. That is, uh, the whole global is facing this, this problem. We are shortage of material. Yeah, of course, I, I think I agree with you that for the improvement to extend the scope for the, so, the solderability test to for further improvement for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thank you to the judges.
All right, thank you. All right, so now we're going to have the uh, judges to give a general